Good morning, children. I hope you all are fine this morning. You all like to listen to stories? Today I'm going to tell you a story of Joseph, a little boy. You like to listen? Before going into the lesson, shall I sing a song for you? Yes. The three Jews came from Jerusalem. The first Jew name was Abraham, the second Jew name was Isaac, and the third Jew name was Jacob, the father of Joseph. In the story which I'm going to tell you, he is Jacob. He was praying to God. Shall we sing that song? Yes. The three Jews came from Jerusalem. The three Jews came from Jerusalem. The three Jews came from Jerusalem. 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 Beautiful gift 
a coat of many colors. Can you see a coat of many colors? He presented to Joseph. And which Joseph had he gave to Benjamin? It was a little bit tight for him. So he gave his coat to Benjamin. And he was not having. So daddy made this shade of father. He made a beautiful coat of many colors for Joseph. And they were so happy. What happened one day when all were sleeping, Joseph said, Daddy, Joseph is wearing the coat. So Joseph was wearing the coat now. Do you see him wearing? Yes, brother saw him wearing the coat of many colors which daddy has presented him. Which made the brothers very angry. Whenever they saw him with the coat, they got so jealous. Oh, brothers were jealous of him. One day he dreamt that Joseph was in the middle and all the eleven sheaves bowing down. This was Joseph. He dreamt that all the bowing down. See? They were bowing Joseph. Joseph was in the middle. He said all Eleven were bowing down. Oh, the brother said, Aha! Uh -huh. Do you think that we will bow down? Be careful, don't ever use the word. They were more angry. And one more dream he dreamt. One more dream he dreamt. That son, father, moon, mother, and eleven stars were just bowing at him. Oh! You think that even father and mother will bow down? Too bad. So, they got so angry. Brothers were very angry towards Joseph. One day, father said, my son Joseph, you just go. Our brothers have gone for a long trip. They just took the sheep, where all the green pastures and green pastures and water, still water, they take their flocks and go. Since it's been a very long time, our brothers are missing. Please take some food, go in search of our brothers. And go and give the food. So Joseph is going and searching. He took the food and he gave. Oh, dreamer boy, dreamer boy. He's coming there. He's coming for a long way. He's coming to see his brothers. But they said, Ah, uh -huh, dreamer boy, dreamer boy is coming. They grabbed his coat. And what they did? See, they took off his coat. Dipped in the blood and they threw him in a dry well. They threw him and he's crying, Oh, please help me, help me. He's crying in a dry well. Ruben was leaving in his absence, they did hear that. They were passing by and they took Joseph from the well. They took him from the well and they sold him to the Ismaelites. They sold him to the Ismaelites. As he was walking, he was going along with them for 20 pieces of silver. Jesus was betrayed for 30 pieces of silver. Joseph was sold for 20 pieces of silver. He was sold. Then he was taken to. What his brothers did with the coat? They dipped in the blood and they went and said, Daddy, we found some wild animals as killed our brother. We saw this blood shedded coat. Father thought that Joseph was 
of death. He was much worried. He was depressed for many weeks and months together. As he was sold to the Ismailites, they took him to Egypt. He went to Egypt. Yes, they took him to Egypt. And there he had more troubles. He was put in jail. He was troubled by many people. You know what happened? He was very quiet, praying to God, doing good to others. What was the result? He became the ruler of Egypt. Yes, next to the king. Next to the king. He became the ruler of Egypt. See? Yes, there the king he dreamt and revealed that seven years is going to be a flourishing years and then next seven years are going to be famine, no growth. And the first seven years, he, when he revealed his dream, he made him as a in charge, a ruler of Egypt to take care of everything to big big storage barren to save all the crops because there is going to be a famine here he was next to the king the seven years went away and the famine started people from here near and far they came to buy the goods, the food. Where? Yes, in Egypt they heard me. They had the storage. You know who all came? You know who all came? Yes, Joseph brothers came. Now they didn't come with rough and rude mood. They came down and they bowed down feet of Joseph. Do you remember the dream? Did it come true? Yes. They were bowing down. Please give me. But Joseph didn't take any revenge. He treated them so well. He hugged them. He cried. He fed them nicely. Later on, he sent a chariot to bring his father. Father? Yes. Father came. Father came. He was kneeling. Oh, thank you God for saving my son. Is my son alive? He was so happy. All oh, prayerful. Father, your father is praying for you. Your mother is praying for you. They should pray for you. Then your family will be a happy family. See, he thought the son was dead, but he's alive. He's fed the, he has fed the whole family. They all went. Father went in the chariot. Yes, praying, praying and going. He went in the chariot. They gave a very good land. Oshi. They went to the land. Full family, all the brothers family, they all went and stayed with Joseph in that country. He stayed for a long time, many years. You should not take revenge. A good son bringeth honor to his son. How are you? Are you bringing honor to your father? Be good always. Don't take revenge. Do good. Always, as Joseph did, you also should do good so that you can be a happy person and a honored person by your parents and elders. Be good, be happy. Like Joseph, do good to everyone. You are happy children? Yes, you like this story? Do you like to be like Joseph? How many of you want to become like Joseph? Be patient. Be good. 
Do good always. Till we meet the next class. Bye bye.